What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and what a bizarre take in a crumbling comic book industry. Apparently, DC employees are endorsing shoplifting, taking their product, and not paying them for it. These are the same people that have Patreons, coffees, and endless ways to give them money. But if you steal a comic book, it's the comic book shop owner's fault. A apparently, this all started with the bizarre cartoonist who created New Guy. And uh, she put out a, a comic that, in a way, uh, you could say promoted shoplifting. Although, you know, it, it's, di it's difficult to, to really say it. But the reaction this has been hilarious. Now, before I get into this... Just a quick word from this video sponsor who helps me so I can pay for things. With everything going on right now, sponsors are few and far between, but NordVPN has stuck by this channel in these uncertain times. And look, since everyone's stuck at home right now, a VPN is an absolutely great way to access your content worldwide. Look, we don't need to look any further than the nightmare scenarios my fellow YouTubers have gone through with getting their channels hijacked or worse as a perfect example of things that can go wrong online. I've been using a VPN for the past year or so, and it's been NordVPN. There are a lot of reasons to use VPNs, whether you want to access your favorite entertainment like Netflix anywhere in the world, or you're just worried about a service that has a super fast server farm with over 5,500 locations in 60 countries. NordVPN has no data logging, 24 seven customer support, and you can have up to six simultaneous connections, protect your laptop, your phone, and your desktop. You want to talk about awards? How about that NordVPN has been selected as the best VPN in Best VPN Awards for 2019? Now, I have a special offer at nordvpn.org slash the quartering with promo code quartering, where you can save 70% on a three-year plan, plus get one month free. Do yourself a favor, protect your data, protect your precious information, and head on over to nordvpn.org slash the quartering and get your deal today. So here is the comic. What to draw today? Art block is the worst. I just need to change the scenery. Oh, I could use some new art supplies. Going to the local art material store. Okay. The garbage they have, these poor workers recite. Thank you for being a guest at our art materials. Sign up for our loyal members program and save. What's wrong with that? I don't know. I worked retail. So then you have the character uh, stealing a bunch of product and materials, books and whatnot. Hello, all set to check out? Yes, one eraser, please. Ha 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 ha. I'm a criminal mastermind. Still no idea what I should draw, though. Now, this apparently uh, started a gigantic backlash. So the artist writes, okay, even if the workers did get fired all the time for folks coming in and stealing, which they don't, by the way, yes, they do. Why blame the petty theft and not the company for treating their employers, their workers like garbage for something out of their control? Are you joking? There is no way Sweet Beans 99 has ever worked a real job. In particular, probably never worked a retail job. It was absolutely part of my job in every single retail environment that I ever worked to reduce shrink. You know what shrink is? Well, then you probably worked retail. For those of you who aren't aware, that's theft. And what happens is, for example, I worked at Menards. And we, I was a cashier there because they paid their cashiers really well, like 8 or $9 or $10 an hour, I think, um, back when I was in college. It was insane. It was almost double what I was making at Walmart. So got a job at Menards. Most of the training was just teaching me where people hide stuff, whether that's putting saw blades or expensive drill bits inside of rugs or a wide variety of other ways. Same thing at Walmart. We got trained to this thing, Bob. Bottom of the basket. Always check the bottom of the basket. Always check inside things. If you're selling shoes and you work in soft lines, when I worked at Walmart, you open the shoe box, you check inside the shoes. You know how often I found stuff? Every single day. 
Now, does that mean the person was for sure trying to shoplift that item? No, not necessarily. Someone could have tossed it in there. Maybe it wasn't them. But every single day, if I wasn't doing, by the way, that was a job requirement. If I had turned a blind eye to it, I would have had ample reason to be fired. I absolutely would have supported uh, that in any other situation. It's not treating your employees poorly when it's literally part of their job. But she obviously gets blown out of the water here. Uh, you know, again, when employees steal or allow theft by being incompetent, they should be fired. Again, hey, maybe a comment can help you feel better for 30 seconds. Take and read it. Wow, a lot of Karens in the replies. Better go tell a manager a cartoon dog is stealing from a cartoon big box store. So the implication is obviously that it's okay if it's a big box store. Wait till I draw the one about my characters who pirate movies or snuck into the theater one time. Um, I don't believe that those are necessarily the same thing, but they are still both theft. Absolutely. Absolutely. And immediately links to her Patreon. And then the backlash began, of course. Uh, you know, and she then plays the victim. Last time it happened, people made her comic positive and she had a month long hissy fit. Can't wait for round two. Okay, Cal, thanks for the important insight that totally doesn't contribute to the coordinated harassment. This is always the, you know, never mind, I found this one with a better ending. Hello, I'll second check out one eraser, please. Would you like me to ring up all the items in your purse too, sir? Or is that just coming out of my paycheck? Uh, d -d 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 down with capitalism? Security! Just you wait till my Twitter followers hear about this. This is the second time that Sweet Beans has been hilariously destroyed for these comics. Um, and again, it's a comic. Totally fine to exist. But of course, she's out on her uh, pity party now. Some of y'all should be ashamed of yourself. I'm completely okay. But literal Nazis! Are starting a, started a coordinated harassment campaign, and many folks had to have discourse tearing each other apart, coming up with valid criticism against me and my little comic, like this king of poo hasn't let, uh, th like this hasn't ended in other people self-deleting. All right, so this is just a variant of the, uh, please stop the backlash, I'm in a bad headspace. Yay, they got my Ko-Fi taken down, or coffee taken down. Under review, no one can donate. What do you care? I mean, in fact, by your logic, we should just go in and take whatever we want. And of course, constructive criticism onto full-blown harassment, you know. People keep messaging me and telling me how they either agree or disagree with the message. The message is the character is a shoplifter. I disagree. I disagree. The implication was very, very clear, especially in the way that she defends it. If it wasn't the message, then why are you saying, okay, even if workers did get fired, why do you care? I mean, it's clear that this was your intention and you thought that you would just get a bunch of Twitter clout, which you did get. But obviously that blew up in your face. And you see a lot of people sharing this message and supporting it. And for a comic book pro, it's very interesting to me. Here's Meg Sosagio, who works for DC Comics, saying, let's not pretend that the backlash to this comic isn't fueled by a hatred for the artist. I don't know the I don't know the artist, and I still hate the comic. We're surrounded by media where protagonists commit crimes, yet there is no objection over promoting crime unless the creator is trans, it seems. It's so nakedly dishonest. You know when I found out that this artist was trans is when she tweeted it. I don't. How would I know anything about her her choices or her uh, uh, her uh, not her choices but her uh, what would you say uh, her orientation? I don't know anything about it. it. Doesn't even say that in her. Doesn't even say that in her uh, banner. So how would I know that? And she points here. 
be crimes, do gay or be gay, do crimes. Right. She goes on to basically cape for her. And here you say again, I'm not familiar with the artist personally, had no idea they were trans. Me either. I found this comic extremely off putting, though, as well as the reaction to the criticism. Lol, no one gets fired for theft. Yes, they do. I was fired for a job and I loved because of theft on my shift. She replies, that's your employer's fault, not the shoplifters. What? Literally, what? I don't understand any of this logic. And of course, all the backlash was hilarious. Stole this comic from the original creator of New Guy comic because they support stealing and shoplifting. So I took their advice by stealing their comic. How about Vito? The creator of New Guy comic, which celebrated the robbery of PewDiePie, new comic has a new comic which celebrates shoplifting. You get $500 a month from Patreon. You can afford some art supplies, crazy lady. 3,800 favorites. The funniest thing about this comic is that it, she took over a week to make it. Stealing is If stealing is cool, then it's okay to steal the comic and stand the hedgehog, right? Shoplifting doesn't do anything to corporate big shots. It only harms those making good, honest, honest living. You know who else it harms? I don't know if these big brain communists on Twitter have any idea how shrink actually works. When you take items from a store, do you think that the store just takes the L? Or do you think they bake that into the price and everyone else has to pay for it? Which do you think happens, brave Twitter commies? Who do you think pays the price? Everybody else. And when punishment gets handed down, as it should, employees get fired. To deny that there's any th anything wrong with shoplifting is absurd. But then you get hot takes like this. Actually, it's about ethics and, sh supply and art supply retailing. The same people are going to fall for the shoplifting is wrong scam, just like they did for GG. This is so designed to manipulate you into attacking woman content creators. And some of you fools will eat it up. What? I don't... Hey, look, it's my birthday. It's my birthday in... What? Eight hours? I can't understand anything that's going on here. I love all of you. Thank you for all your support. Hopefully... My 37th year on this planet will be just as epic as my 36th. Hopefully you're all still here and we're rocking next year. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.